Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker, and the rise in support of the Save American Workers Act. This bill would repeal Obamacare's mandate on employers to provide insurance to all employees working at least 30 hours per week. It would instead restore the traditional 40-hour standard. Everywhere I go, I hear concerns about the lack of jobs and the need for job creation. Tennessee's unemployment rate is still near 7 percent. We need to be doing everything possible to encourage employers to not only create jobs, but to maintain current jobs. That's why the 30-hour standard makes no sense. Employers are already struggling to make their budgets work in the stagnant Obama economy. We now know how these employers will be forced to respond by cutting hours or hiring fewer workers. There's concrete evidence this is already happening, not just in the private sector. In my own hometown, Johnson City, Tennessee, where I was mayor before I came here, the city school system has been forced to keep approximately 200 part-time employees, including substitute teachers, below the 129 hours a month. This hurts the families that count on that income and the school children that benefit from the efforts of these adults. President Obama's case for defending this flawed law is built on a false premise that there's no other way to help individual, individuals who cannot afford health insurance or who have been affected by a catastrophic illness or disease. Mr. Speaker, I've spent my entire adult life as a physician taking care of people from all walks of life. I want every American to have access to an affordable health care plan. And I've worked since I arrived in Congress to develop patient-centered solutions to, to help people afford health care like H.R. 3121, the American Health Care Reform Act. There are ways to reach this goal without creating massive new bureaucracy, spending $2 trillion, weakening the doctor-patient relationship, or increasing premiums for millions of hardworking Americans. But the President won't even engage in a conversation. So in the meantime, we must do what we can to protect the American people from this law. That's why I encourage my colleagues to support this bill, and I yield back the balance of my time.